Uganda and Tanzania entered the Memorandum of Understanding to construct the 1,443 kilometer East African crude oil pipeline from the Albertine region to Tanga in Tanzania. Uganda will spend 18.6 trillion shillings on the project. Officials from the Ministry of Defense and Veteran Affairs appeared before the Defense Committee of Parliament to defend their 3.88 trillion shillings 2024-2025 budget. Honorable. The officials who were led by the minister, Vincent Sempija, told MPs on the Defence Committee of Parliament that 2.5 billion shillings they had proposed to secure the oil pipeline has been left out. Uh, page so how much money is needed to, for ECOP security? 2.5 billion. Billion, okay. ECOP security, uh, you know the, the, the security of our... Pipeline, oil pipeline, is not catered for anywhere. And, uh, In the next financial year, the ministry officials told MPs that they will experience a shortfall of 997 billion shillings in wages. The ministry also wants 27 billion shillings to cater for wages of the recently recruited local defense personnel who are expected to patrol areas in western Uganda that are prone to allied democratic forces raids. The Defence Ministry officials told MPs that they want 76 billion shillings for the enhancement of scientists and salaries of soldiers. But people who serve more than anybody, who are the gate waiting to drive you off, are the privates, the corporals. Have you looked at their enhancement? It's 997 because we have salary enhancement for the, engineer, the scientists in the EPDF. We have uh, enhancements which you, the committee, uh, last time you ordered us to, to, to look at enhancing the private to captain. You remember, sir, and honorable members. So this is where, this is the, the, if we do that, this is the shortfall. The officials say they wanted 62 billion shillings to be used in Operation Shuja against ADF rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but only 22 billion shillings has been allocated. Few infiltrations, those few infiltrations you have seen um, in the country, in western Uganda, are a result of the pressure we are putting on them inside the eastern DRC, because we have gone now as far as... Uh, uh, Mambasa territory. Ministry officials were not clear when MPs raised the issue of army men guarding civilians following the recent killing of Richard Muhumuza, a special forces command soldier who was killed while guarding a church leader, Alosias Bujingo. So an attempted murder of Pastor Bujingo, but less is talked about the UPDF officer who was killed and nobody is mentioning about the corporal from Revitakuri, Richard. What was he doing with a, with a pastor, and yet this is a professional. So we are now, Mr. Chairman, we are having civilians being guarded by military police. Even the president, I think, is not guarded by military police. Mm. I correct that. SFC is for the president. So these are things you should look at. It's abuse of office, and it's putting you low as soldiers. History, we've lost the personnel, mm. and we are waiting on the investigation by the internal affairs, the police, to tell us that there will be justice for the person who has been killed. Honorable Sech Kubo knows this very well. The officials said to secure the country's borders, they would require 9.1 trillion shillings, but they have been allocated 3.88 trillion shillings. Juma Kiria, NTV. Welcome. Uh, good morning, sir.